down, people were thinking there's no one that can challenge Charles. Charles is at such an elite level. Islam beats him so soundly that now you're like, I don't even know if it makes sense for Charles to fight him again. Brother, if, if King Kong can make 155, okay, bring this guy here. As a matter of And uh, like I, I told Ali, I told Islam to their money, brother, doesn't matter, you're the world champion. Old, Charles. This is his time to shine, you know. He have to make statement, finish Dan Hooker. Because I don't believe Dan Hooker on this same level. I don't believe. Ability in Islam after that fight with Volkanovski. First of all, you see how good Volkanovski really is. How much fucking animal. Yeah. He's number one. Yeah, 100%. You have to say, they, they have him not listed as pound for pound because he lost that fight. I think you make a real argument that he won that fight. I think he won the fight. Yeah. In my mind, he won the fight. I think he did more damage. I think yeah. he imposed his skill set. It's also insanely impressive that he goes up from 45 to fucking massive 55. Yeah. The guy's as big at 55 as anybody is. And at the end of the fight, he's on top, beating him up, he drops him, gets yeah. on top of him. And, and and had ma massive moments throughout the fight, but it at least gives an air of vulnerability to Islam. Where before that, yeah. most people were like, "This guy's unstoppable." Oh fuck! Yeah. Charles got to see some confidence from that. I get some, but then again, Islam just smushed him. He didn't even just most people walk into a Charles' full guard. He forced the half guard right away. Pinch his knees, forced the half guard. What a good ass idea. But he also rocked him, dropped him, boom. Maybe yep, Charles that went, too. You know, yeah, that too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of factors. But Gaethje versus Islam, very interesting.